Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I usually upload two videos a week, sometimes more. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at Kenner's The Real Ghostbusters Highway Haunter and I love this toy. Originally released in 1988. I don't remember exactly the price for this. I'm going off of memory. If I remember correctly, this was going to be somewhere between $10 to $15, depending on where you got it. I want to lean more towards the $15, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going off of memory here. If you know better, go down in the comments uh, and, and just let me know. Now, uh, the Highway Haunter is one of my favorite vehicles in the world. It is a yellow Volkswagen Bug, which was my first car was a yellow Volkswagen Bug. Absolutely love this car. The car is approximately 10 inches long and it's about four and a half inches tall at the top of the windscreen here. And uh, for those bug aficionados out here, out there, um, just by looking at this, of course, it's a toy and it's one that didn't take a whole lot of attention to detail, but just to be a little bug nut for a minute, uh, I'm gonna go with this, an approximation of a 73 Super Beetle, just because it's got the rounded wheel wells, the elevated front uh, chassis, here, or the front of the frame here is elevated. If you look at the window frame, you can see that it, it the, the actual windshield would have been rounded. And then on the back, you've got the vents on the deck lid along with the round tail lights. So that would put it at about a 73. And then of course, the bumpers would be uh, not accurate at all for that year <laughs> uh, but again it's a toy it's not going to be accurate but it's it's probably the closest approximation to a 73 super beetle uh just going by those details there and uh yeah very cool little car it rolls nicely and it's just a simple plain volkswagen bug which i absolutely love and then of course it's got some ghostbusters no ghost logos on there and uh, yeah, absolutely love this car. Now in the cartoon, if I remember correctly, there was an episode where Janine was driving uh, a Volkswagen. So in my head canon, this has kind of become Janine's car, <laughs> which is very cool. And there's a couple of cool features here that we can take a look at. Uh, first off, I'm just gonna go in and show you that we can in fact put a couple of figures in. Of course, I'm gonna put Janine in the driver's seat because as far as I'm concerned, this is her car. So we're gonna put Janine in there and uh, why don't we put Winston in here as well since I had him handy. So we can easily fit two figures in here. And we'll do, there you go. So we can fit two figures in here very, very easily. And then I absolutely love this little feature right here. We got a couple of slots back here. And with these slots, what we can do is we can actually clip a couple of Proton Packs on here and take them with us on our trip just in case something spooky happens while we're out which is very cool. I always keep around a couple of proton packs that I've used for parts to fix them in my other proton packs. So the ones with the no streams, I like to keep for, you know, just figure shots or just to put on the vehicles just like this uh, that don't have the streams on there. So these work perfectly for these purposes right there. And there you go. You got two people and two packs and we are ready to hit the road. Very, very cool. Now we've got a couple other things we can look at as well. So I'm going to remove the packs and I absolutely love this, and I'm going to go bug nut again for a minute. The deck lid actually opens. It doesn't open a whole lot, but it does open. And then if we look back in there, there actually is a proper Volkswagen engine back there. That is what those engines look like on those cars. For those of you that did not know, that is actually accurate, which is very, very cool. Now, another cool feature is that you can reach in and pop the engine off and remove it. And now we can actually get a better look at it. And uh, yeah, there we go. Let me... Get that focused in. Yep, that is a very good approximation of a Volkswagen engine. Now, why did we remove this? Because you can also turn it around and it's a little ghost. So you actually have a little ghost to go along with 
your uh, vehicle like you did with a lot of the other vehicles and play sets and uh, figures and accessories they all came with a little ghost this guy was no different it came with a little ghost I absolutely love that I love the idea of a little Volkswagen engine ghost <laughs> this is just hysterical to me so and then we have one more feature and it's sort of a transforming feature which you guys know me that I absolutely am gonna love that so we're uh, if you look at the back of the headrests it looks like a little uh, pair of buttons up here and sure enough that's exactly what that is you can leave the figures in if you'd like you can take them out if you'd like you can do whatever you want but you can press any one of those buttons and the whole vehicle is going to convert up into a ghost of its own and it's kind of like this praying mantis looking ghost slash monster not really sure what to call this you can see the figures are still in there and janine looks uh, properly scared now you can still roll the vehicle okay uh, it's, it is a little top heavy, but the vehicle does roll and uh, yeah, very cool This praying mantis mode is approximately nine and a half to ten inches tall. So it does grow It's a very very cool feature here So, you know, we can get the guys to jump out guys and gals to jump out and of course these are my fright feature figures So they're just gonna be scared um, <laughs> About the car turning into a ghost Unfortunately, I really, this is something I always wish. I wish these figures came with uh, pegs to put proton packs on them. So I'm not going to be able to like arm these guys up to uh, fight the car with these packs. I wish I could, but we can't. Uh, so they're just going to stand there and be scared of it. <laughs> Very cool. Absolutely love this. So we'll go ahead and get the car put back together. And I want to show you what this car is going to look like next to the Ecto. So let me just, oh, so I guess I should show to, co to convert it back. You just saw it's very simple you're just going to push the whole car back down again just like so and it converts back very very easily and i'm going to go back in the back here again and pop the engine in this one gets a little tricky there's a little peg hole right there on the bottom and there's a little peg in there it's all black and dark and hard to see and again this doesn't open a whole lot so you just kind of got to go by feel until you get it in there and there you go and now for comparison I'm going to bring in the Ecto 1A and it's not going to fit. I'm going to have to back up just a little bit. So we'll do this. And here you can see what these vehicles look like together. And here we have one final look at the real Ghostbusters Highway Haunter. Absolutely love this toy. This is one that is fairly easy and inexpensive to get complete and in good working order. So go after this one. This is a really fun, inexpensive toy. Um, that about covers the, once again, Kenner Real Ghostbusters Highway Haunter. What did you think of this vehicle? And did you have some suggestions for something you'd like to see me review? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've also got that subscribe button up there or the uh, donate button up there if you want to hit on that. I'd really appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.